So, hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to be doing a science experiment. We're gonna see how much air is in a balloon. We're gonna be measuring in liters, and you're gonna need a measuring cup, a balloon, a bucket full of water, and a running tap of water. So, just to show that the water, that the bin is full, Now it's at the top, and it just overflowed. So once it stops, it'll be at the top. The water is colored so that you guys can see, and it's not green filled. So I chose green because it looks like a watermelon. Watermelon colored water. So now we need to wait for it. It's done. Now we put the blue, okay, the watermelon, in the water. We have to completely submerge it. Now, take the measuring cup. It's up to a liter. Now we're gonna put a liter of water in. That's a liter. And one liter. Two liters. So I poured I poured six liters and a half because it's up to fifty five hundred mark and then five hundred here, which makes half. So now you know how much air is in a balloon. So this won't work with this will work with every balloon, but you won't get the exact same results. So try it yourself and impress your friends. So now, I'm going to be showing you how to measure the volume of one deep breath. So, again, you need to make sure that you're inside or outside, but I'd recommend inside, and in like a tub so that your mom doesn't yell at you, and yeah, that's coming from personal experience. So, we need to blow one big deep breath. Now done, let's tie it. It's like a beach ball. Now we need to dunk it in the tippy top water. So now it's considerably less than the watermelon, the watermelon balloon, but you can also use this to measure a watermelon. Just do the same thing with a watermelon. It's that easy. So now, get your measuring tool. Top, and we used about 650 one and 600 one liter and 650 milliliters in my one breath but then again everybody's different so try it yourself and bye